So budget earbuds and headphones have always been a very hot topic in the Sean Talks Tech channel and it's really fun to go around hunting for what works with not a lot of money. Today we're taking a look at the budget headphones from Edifier and I'm here to let you know if this is any good. Welcome to a review of the Edifier W600 BT. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Edifier W600BT. So I've personally bought this headphone for a review and if you've looked at Edifier's range of headphones, anytime you see the term NB, those are the ANC line of products and if it's just BT, means it's a standard Bluetooth headphones. So the W600BT retails for a super budget 99 Malaysia Ringgit and that's about USD25 and that's even before promotions or discounts. So this is definitely a super good value headphone and I'm here to see if they are any good. And if you're interested in buying these headphones, do check out my links in the description below. So these headphones here are made with a very specific demographic in mind and because of that, I think Edify did a great job here giving customers the absolute basics that they are looking for. The build here is pretty similar to the W820NB that we've checked out before but that headphone is two and a half times more expensive than this. So you're gonna get mainly plastic build here, really light and I think this will appeal to many because they are not tiring to wear. You won't be getting a lot of design cues here on these headphones and the only place here is at the ear cups where you get the Edifier branding and I personally really like this minimalist look with the ring design and the Edifier logo in the middle slightly bulging out really looks really classy and nice So the headphone band here feels really nice and solid with no creaking despite it is made mostly out of plastic and very light and I think Edifier did a really great job here the foam at the top of the headphones here is similar to the W820NB and they are soft but not dense enough and when you press it deep into your head, you can feel the plastic ridges there. So at the side of the headphones, you're also going to get a fully plastic extension, no metal pieces here, but they do what they are designed to do and they work. So they're reliable and it helps Edifier keep the price down. Another thing that you'll notice is that the left and right indicator here, unlike the Edifier W820NB, doesn't have any color and it's basically just a uh, indentation of the right and left. So there you go, right and left. So let's compare it to the W820NB that we have here and you can see the left and right uh, indicator here feels a lot nicer, feels a lot more classier compared to the W600BT. I personally think the WA20NB has one of the most comfortable ear cups on a budget headphones and it feels like you're sitting in the seats of a luxury car. If any of you own the WA20NB, would really love to hear your thoughts on that as well. The ear cup scenario on the W600BT on the other hand feels like a kind of budget headphones. So there's no memory foam here, uh, but at least it's wrapped in a leatherette finish. Uh, it doesn't feel as comfortable because it's missing all the tilting and twisting features. So you can see this is a rigid ear cup. There's no twisting, there's no moving. So it is what it is. So this ear cups would either work for you or it doesn't work for you. But for me, it kind of fits, but it doesn't sit as flush as I would like next to my head. So on the left ear cups itself, this is where you're going to get the 3.5mm auxiliary jack. And on the right hand side, you're going to get a Type-C charging port to top up the headphones. So the controls on these headphones are also really simple and the main button right outside the ear cups here is your on off button. And if you double press it, you can also call out your assistant. And the volume rocker at the side here also acts as track skipping features, so that's very nice. Battery life is also pretty good and Edifier gives you about 30 hours of continuous playtime uh, with these headphones and they don't come with any quick charging. So that is one of my problems with these headphones and charging it up from empty takes extremely long at 3 hours. 
So features wise, these are pretty basic and you're going to get a 5.1 chipset with only support for SBC codec. So you're getting absolute basic here uh, with sound quality and performance. So just enough for you to stream music without any problems. So these headphones also don't have any official water resistant rating, but I would go out and say uh, light sweating on the ear cups should be fine as long as you don't drip it into the ear cups. That's pretty good. A little bit of sweat wouldn't destroy the headphones. So these headphones also allows you to run it wired with the 3.5mm auxiliary jack. But one downside that I noticed is that you can't use the headphones when it's charging, regardless if it's wired or wireless. Another great feature here is that the headphone supports two device multipoint and even the more expensive W820NB doesn't support multipoint. So let's talk a little bit about the sound signature because this sound signature here is very weird and it depends what mode you're playing it on and the sound signature you get is wildly different. With the 3.5mm jack, finally you're gonna get a very warm, bassy sound signature here. This honestly has nothing to do with the SBC codec because plugging it in, they sound pretty muffled and I've tried it even with my Sony NW105A. Vocals and highs here are pretty muffled with very little clarity. So again, Edify has a very specific demographic for these headphones to work and wants something really simple and quick that they can just grab and go. Now moving on to Bluetooth connectivity because this is where this headphone shine. And if you use it in Bluetooth mode, it actually sounds super good. And it sounds very much like all the good sounding Edifier earbuds and headphones that we've checked out before. Very good bass, very good vocals, very decent clarity, not the brightest, but pretty good. And so I think this is the first time I've tried something where cable is sounding worse than Bluetooth. And from that perspective, I think that these headphones do exactly what it's setting out to do. And if you want to enjoy good sounding music, definitely use the Bluetooth mode. So this is a test to see if the Edifier W600DT is a good headphones for making phone call. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So there's also no gaming mode on these and the Bluetooth 5.1 doesn't do much with latency uh, when it comes to gaming like PUBG. Delay is really noticeable and really gives you a disadvantage in games. Watching videos and movies on these are nice without any delay. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones. So all in all, if you're really on a budget and for the money you're paying, these are a great pair of headphones that works and I definitely give my stamp of approval here. However, if you have a little bit more budget, top it up and get the W820NB instead. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.